welcome back to UAV drone design and then uh, on the last tutorial we left off with creating this plane and then project these curves onto this body so we will uh, create our uh, rear wings from this surface outwards so we already projected this curve here so all we need now is the uh, the and other end of the uh, the rear wings so uh, let's create that now so let's catch on this plane and we already determined our uh, reference line so we know that the base of the airplane will be uh, between these two construction lines and the tip of the airplane will be uh, between these two construction lines so let's start by uh, creating the sketch obviously the sketches will be uh, inside this uh, uh, this sketch but because the uh, wing itself is going this way and then our sketch is going to end up somewhere here uh, we will create a second line which will be our guide curve so let's create by let's uh, start by uh, adding another sketch construction line so we're just going to extend this line here so we know uh, we're working between what lines uh, so okay so that's that's good because we're going to run over from this end to the end so let's create by uh, grabbing uh, another spline and then we're going to sketch from from the middle of this one to that point if you can grab a point on that but it's not problem if you cannot it's not a 3d sketch so let's grab that and then we're going to manipulate this uh, spline and then we're going to manipulate it this way maybe not that much but let's see well, how we can come up with it yeah, it's just a little bit descent just that much and then we grab another spline and we're just going to snap from this one to that point exit the sketch and we're just going to manipulate this spline here so obviously the bottom portion will be the low pressure area so something around that I like that I'm gonna press ok on that I'm going to exit this sketch okay and I'm going to create a, a straight line yeah just a straight uh, 3d sketch line uh, between those two points so uh, let's grab this line actually I'm going to grab our 3d sketch so let's grab this line and then we try I'm gonna try to snap onto the end of this point and uh, this point here okay all right so so let's see what uh, surface we can come up with, with this amount so let's go surfaces uh, boundary surface uh, let's choose this line this continuous curves and uh, let's choose this one here and let's choose our uh, let's choose our guide curve okay guide curve looks good I'm gonna press OK on that and that looks uh, pretty much what I had in mind okay so that looks good that's perfect it's kind of leaning upwards a little bit just as it should so uh, yeah so we got this surface here now we have to make this uh, surface into a knitted uh, surface so let's add a planner face to this one okay that's good and let's head, let's head over to our uh, display states and let's go to our, our second display state which is much cleaner so we can see a lot better okay 
So uh, we're going to get rid of this here because we don't need it. And I think we add that sketch picture somewhere, somewhere around. So, so that's a good idea to uh, always name your. Uh, uh, there you go. This is here, right? So it's a good idea to always name uh, when you add a sketch picture somewhere uh, far into the design. You can name your. Uh, you can name your. You can name that tab. Okay, so let's just hide this one. Let's hide the sketch picture. Let's hide this uh, plane for now, and let's hide these lines. That's good. Let's see this. Uh, let's hide this one as well. We don't need it here. Okay, and uh, all we need now is uh, we want to. Uh, we want to knit this uh, wing together with the body. So let's see if we uh, knit the wing itself together. Okay. And let's see if we can add the body to that. We cannot. So let's have a look inside. Okay. So let's do a uh, section view and let's add that section view in a different uh, section. Uh, let's uh, mm. okay, let's move this back. Maybe like this. Uh, that's good. So just so we can see inside. Okay, I'm going to check on that. So uh, let's go in here and see what we can do. So if we go to delete face, it's not a single face. So let's see if we can do a trim surface. So if we choose that and if we remove that, but not from here. And to remove from here. Hold on a second, let's do it again. So let's go to trim surface. Let's choose that see that trim tool. We're going to remove that. Press OK. Ah, that's perfect. So now that removed our little thing there for us. So now we can uh, knit the body together with the wing. So let's choose the, the plane and the wing and uh, press OK on that. And now it's did it. Perfect. And now we can get rid of this. Uh, projection line. We're not going to delete it. We're going to hide it just so it's much cleaner. So that is good. Now we can it together the body with the wing and uh, we shouldn't do that. We should mirror it over to the other side first. So uh, let's delete that knit. Okay. So let's uh, let's mirror over our wing. So let's go to futures. Let's go to Let's go to mirror and let's choose the front plane. Let's choose the front plane and bodies to mirror and we're going to mirror that one and that one and that's good. Okay. Uh, let's double check if uh, our surfaces are still one surface. So let's go back to surfaces, knit surface, we're going to choose that. We're going to choose that, knit it together. Okay, that's good. Now let's uh, let's delete this uh, little portion here as well. So just like we did it on the last time, we're going to trim surface. We're going to choose this as a. Hold on. Let's take this out because it chose it automatically. So let's for uh, trim tool. Let's do, let's choose this wing part, and then we're going to remove uh, this area here. Okay. So you just press OK on that. Okay, so nice one, buddy. So let's knit together the planner face and the wing first. So this body and the planner face, and press OK on that. And now we can uh, knit the body together with the wing. So knit, 
the plane uh, one of the wing and the second wing and uh, let's check that okay so now now all this is just one part so we can also double check again so knit if, if you choose here you see you can choose any of it because it's all very knitted together so in in fact it's one surface so it's important that you uh, always have to make sure when you working with surfaces to try to get all your surfaces into one surface because if it's not in one surface then uh, you will have surface issues in the uh, further along your design also you will have pro major problems with creating your uh, model into a solid body uh, let's take back our uh, section view okay so we're going to leave this tutorial uh, at this point and then we are going to create uh, another section of our wing uh, on the bottom of it which is this part here and then I'm thinking once we uh, created this portion here uh, we are going to add the smaller things like uh, this area this this and then probably this bits here and of course we're going to leave the cameras uh, the rockets and the rocket uh, holders uh, for the last and of course the decals we will put them last as well okay so uh, see you back at the next uh, tutorial take care